check it out. of the sand dunes so I am approaching Great Sand Dunes National Park here in southeast Colorado um, and it's just the sunset last night was beautiful the sunrise is beautiful the skies here it is kind of like Montana it's just beautiful and never ending Oh, hello. Welcome back. It's Sarah from Roadworthy. So I'm clearly out of the plains. And in fact, I'm in Cimarron, Colorado, um, which um, you may or may not know, there is an Edna Ferber book of the same title. And I had no idea what that title was referenced to. But it's a town in Colorado. And it's a teeny tiny town. Um, the um, Curacante, I'm guessing that's how it's pronounced, um, National Recreation Area is where I currently am. And this is right next door to the Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. Um, so I was there yesterday and I'll probably insert some pictures. Because um, it was absolutely Beautiful. I felt like I was taking the same picture of rocks over and over and over, but it was just absolutely beautiful. And um, it is a destination for climbers. And so again, some of those rock faces and even here are just sheer verticals. So how people do that, I don't know. But anyway, I'm on a hike and I thought it'd be fun to take a break from my hike and talk about what I've been reading. So I finished uh, The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu. This is a fantasy novel. Um, it's the first book in his Dandelion Dynasty trilogy. And as I mentioned in my last video, Ken Liu is also a translator and um, well, uh, regarded translator for Chinese uh, um, science fiction. Um, so this book is about, so let's see, it opens um, in this imaginary place where there were seven kingdoms that were constantly sort of warring with one another and then were united 
under an emperor. Um, and um, the book opens and that emperor very soon dies. And um, he, it, you know, the, the world goes into chaos and the kingdoms start breaking apart again and people are rising up and getting killed and it's very political. Um, there's a lot of um, battles, um, very little mysticism, sorcery. There are sort of the gods in the background. Um, but there's a lot of characters, you know, people switching sides. <laughs> so it's a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, and the story centers around two characters, Mata, who is from an ancient noble house and he's the last descendant of his house. Everyone else got killed when the emperor conquered his kingdom. And um, Kindu, um, who um, is a sort of a petty criminal gangster kind of a guy um, at the beginning of the novel. And he sort of decides you know, he's sort of a Robin Hood kind of a figure. He kind of has this merry band with him and they, you know, sort of work against the oppressors and give to the poor kind of a thing. Um, and through various circumstances, you know, those two unite and decide they're gonna, you know, um, overthrow the various people who are, who are trying to take over the empire. Um, I enjoyed the book throughout that whole period. So probably about two thirds in, um, Mata and Kindu have a falling out. And it felt forced. You know, it felt forced to try and, and wrap up the book and set up the second book. Um, suddenly Mata turns into this caricature um, you know, he's sort of striving to restore ancient nobility, whereas Kindu is sort of fighting for like, no, no, let's, let's build a new future, n not based on the past. Um, and so those two just philosophically end up clashing. Um, so, you know, this worked for me, like most fantasy books do. <laughs> Um, you know, I enjoyed it for what it was. Um, I'm not going to go on and read the rest of the series. That's very typical for me with, with fantasy or sci-fi series. I just, I, I don't know. I don't do well with series. I read one book and then I'm kind of satisfied. Um, so that was kind of that. Um, I've been listening to audiobooks. I remember what else I listened to. I listened to the Cater Street Hangman uh, by Anne Perry. This is the first in her Thomas Pitt series. Um, and this is the book where Thomas Pitt meets his wife, Charlotte. This is a Victorian era mystery basically on charlotte street she's kind of a um, well-to-do young lady i don't know she's like 19 or 20 years old or something like that um and there are a couple other women um who in the on their street who die um and a, and a maid and um and anyway, you know, Charlotte and um, Thomas solve the crime. I I'm not a big mystery person, um, but, you know, I love historical fiction. So I, I thought, well, you know, I'll give, I, I try and give historical mysteries a try. Um, and I'm glad I gave this one a try because really this one 
was a lot about Charlotte's family, the society dynamics, um, you know, sort of the goings on the upstairs, downstairs dynamics, um, the, you know, the scandal by, you know, having a murder in the neighborhood and, you know, the uppityness of this police officer who's constantly coming to the house to ask questions, you know, of his betters. Um, you know, there was drama with her sisters, you know, her sister, um, meeting up with this Lord and then the Lord becomes under suspicion for these murders. So, you know, it was a lot more about their family drama and their societal drama with a little mystery thrown in. And that I appreciate. <laughs> um, so that's all I've sort of accomplished since we've last checked in. Not a super ton. I've got a couple things on the go right now. Um, and then my husband and my older son join me tomorrow here in Colorado. So, um, and then we'll be traveling around for a week together and then I'll leave them in Las Vegas. So I'm not sure how much filming I'll get to do this week and I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to post this. Um, I'm going to a laundromat tomorrow. <laughs> um, supposedly there's Wi-Fi there, so maybe, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. So, um, anyway, I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing well. Um, I'm, I've had a great sort of week traveling uh, myself. It's been a nice break, uh, but I'm excited to have my husband and son join me. So, not sure how much reading I got done. I hope you're getting a lot of good reading done. Um, and... I'll check in with you again at some point. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.